Welcome back to another episode of 904 Fishing. I'm your host, Alex. Today we'll be taking my little brother's fishing. Uh, we're going to the Hidden Lake again. We've got Patrick right there. We've got Luke right there. Luke will be throwing little crappy nibbles or uh, imitation maggots. Whatever he catches will be going on Patrick's rod as live bait. If not, we'll just be throwing lures and hoping to catch up to something. Stay tuned. All right. Luke will get you rigged up first. I don't know how to... These are the bait of choice today for Luke. We've got the gulp maggots and the crappie power baits by Berkeley. Those are pretty nice. Recording right now. I am. Okay. Yep. Say hi to YouTube. Uh, I'm kind of like my own YouTuber, you know? I do know. Do you have a YouTube channel? Um, yeah, Patrick hooked me up again. Patrick hooked me up. Nice. Robot fans, dude. You know what? Let's see what to go fishing. You know why? There's gonna be mosquitoes. <laughs> Wait. Get a bite. Nope, that's weird. We'll try it again, okay? I think it was just moving on its own. Uh, nope. Alright, and you remember how to cast these? Pretty simple. Here. Yeah. Just make it easier. You want that facing towards you. Yeah. Finger. Open bail, watch out. Don't stand don't stand behind a fisherman. Go back. Try to watch where you're casting just so you don't um, hit a tree. Yeah. And then whenever you reel it in, keep your rod tip up and reel kind of quick like this so you don't snag along the bottom. Hey, remember what I just said? What? Yeah. You didn't just hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. I could have swore it. Did I not just say that? Maybe I said it in my head, not out loud. No, wait, no, no, no. I did say that out loud. So again, finger. It lost two lures. Unlucky, so we're gonna go to a new spot. We're now at the new spot, look. Oh, here, I was gonna do that, but all right. Hey. There you go. I know, I was just making sure you didn't hit Patrick Eye, all right? There you go. Oh, Pat, Luke, see that stuff over there? Yeah. Try to cast that way. That, that. that way. Go, Luke. away buddy just please do not hook your brother or I Dad, I don't I don't want to spin never like me you do this just so I can show you a little better so this will be a little tutorial for you guys at home as well so what you're gonna do is get the bait about a third of the way down the length of the pole okay just like that Put the bale so it's facing towards you, where the line comes out. You want it facing towards your finger. One finger, open the bale, just like that, okay? And then when you lean back, you want to throw back with it, okay? And then it's more of a whipping motion. You're not really throwing, you're whipping it. So your arms aren't going to move that much. All you're going to do is that motion right there, that's it. So this hand comes down, this hand comes over, just like, boom, just like that. And then... You whip it out there, the bait, close the bale when it hits the water, and then you reel it in, just like that. Now, depending on what kind of bait you're using, you could be reeling it at a moderate pace, a fast pace. This is a rattle trap, which we want about in the middle of the water column. So we're just gonna reel at a nice, steady pace. That's all we're gonna be doing there. Nice, steady pace. There's a bunch of weeds right here in the front. 
So as soon as I start getting closer to the bank, I'm gonna increase my dread, or I'm gonna increase my rate of speed for the turns there and get it out of the water so it doesn't get snagged. So we'll see Patrick try to do that here. About right there. There you go. <clears throat> so you, you want the line almost parallel coming off the bail in your finger. There you go. And then you're gonna lean back. Remember, just those just those two fingers. That's uh, uh try to do the side cast like I did. There you go. And remember, yeah, I'll move. You just you just turn in your hand. That's all you're doing. Not, not bad, not bad. Close it and reel. There you go. So he's gonna have to practice with a little bit, but I'm sure with a little bit of practice he'll be able to do it just fine. Luke, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Okay. And then you go to the side, you swing it out, and whenever it's out at the farthest it can go, then you release the button, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead and try, go. Well, they call it fishing, not catching. Sorry, it's not a fishing trip until somebody says that. All right, we're not having any luck. We can't find the fish, so time to bust out secret weapon. There it is. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a deeper smart sonar. And what this does is exactly what it sounds like. It's a sonar. It's a little portable device. And when you throw it in the water, it tells you what's below it. And how do you know that? The phone? Yep. Okay. Hey, don't stop my rod, please. So we're gonna use Patrick's, the, re, the rod Patrick was using just because it has a snap swivel on it and it's easy to take on and off. Hmm. So it's only four foot deep out there. All right, so we didn't have any luck today. We fished for, I think, two, two and a half hours, something like that, it was crazy. We're hungry, we're gonna go inside, get some food. We weren't able to hook up. We're gonna go out next time. We think we're gonna rent a boat, uh, maybe John boat, something like that, who knows. As always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm Thanks. starving. <laughs> Luke is starving. See you guys next time, fish on.